Hey, it's Holly. Welcome to Living It Country. In today's video, I have lots of fall decor. We have 10 fall pieces to share with you all from Cotton and Crete. And if you guys are new to our channel, we have shared multiple Cotton and Crete hauls for all the different sorts of seasons. And so I will link those down below. We also had a fall one last year and I believe the majority of those pieces are probably still on the website as returning items. And I know that a sale is coming, so go ahead and check out their website down below and I'll see if I can get a coupon code. And if so, that will be down below too. Now today's video is also in collaboration with someone I know you guys are all gonna be very excited to see back on YouTube and it's Charlie's Country Cottage. Her channel will be linked down below, so make sure if you guys are not already subscribed to subscribe and watch her video after you're finished watching today's video. She will be sharing some Cotton and Crete decor too, and she is absolutely amazing. Her style is changing. Just, you guys, I can't even believe it. The little amount of time that she has been styling and decorating her home, her style has just elevated be absolutely gorgeous. It's always been gorgeous, but it is just looking absolutely phenomenal. So go check her out and we're gonna go ahead and get started with today's video. Now it is a tradition that I start off my Cotton and Crete videos with a good old candle from Cotton and Crete and this is their olive bucket candle. I love getting these and their wicker ones because when you're done with the candle, there's a cute little bucket this one I think will be more useful than the wicker basket. And you can either make another candle or create a fun little DIY project with it. This one is the Apple Rum Bonfire. I did leave this on so I could remember what it was, but I have been burning this for about two weeks now. And it is absolutely delightful. It is one of my favorite fall candles. And in fact, it's the only fall candle that I have left. So I'm going to need to stock up on some more candles here soon. So one thing pretty cool is, I think it's cool, is I can actually move around now while talking with you guys in my videos. And I don't have to do voiceovers if I need to like leave the screen because now I have a mic on me. So that is great. But I got these beautiful field pumpkins. If you guys get anything that's actually fall related because there are quite a few everyday products in here that you can use for fall decorating obviously and that I have plans to but the very specific ones like these these are my favorite <laughs> my fate this is my favorite fall find of the year these five pack of field pumpkins they do have a six pack as well and they are really a great price. I have searched at other companies and I couldn't believe the price. Look at this color. This is my color. I love this. Love all the different shapes. I have had these. You guys have already seen these actually because I have had these for a while. Um, they're from Park Hill Collections, set of five, and they just curate really well together. You can style them differently. What I mean by that is like the base is different. Do you see? It's like a real pumpkin. A real pumpkin, but not real. <laughs> They're great, I love them. One of my least favorite things about buying real pumpkins is how they don't last as long. Of course, we'll still get those, we'll carve them, have a good time, but I love these, especially for the front porch, which you guys are gonna see it decorate with me later on this month where these will be incorporated. Next, we have this two pack of different height acorn candlesticks. It's got a beautiful distressing to it if you look really up close, like a light, light brown and heavy on the white distressing so you can see that acorn look to it. I love these, so perfect for Thanksgiving for a tablescape and I just love the simple element that it could bring to fall. So you don't need, you know, all of these pumpkins. You can just simply add these small little details that really add to the charm of your look. One of my favorite things about this small shop is the fact that you can get found items, vintage items, and just really unique pieces that just add a lot of charm and character and a story behind your home. 
and sometimes those those items can be kind of difficult to style with or at least for me can stump me and so i love the fact that on their social media account they share accounts where you also can get inspiration from and so one of the ladies um, on their account shared how to style this right here and I'm really thinking outside of the box here of how to style this for fall. And this is a rustic hanging pocket basket with a hanging chain. And I think it's absolutely darling. There's so many different things that you could do with this, like in just so many different areas of your home. It doesn't have to be seasonal. And I've got some ideas, but it's something that I'm gonna have to bring to life first before I share them, because they might sound a little silly until you really see it, if that makes sense. This is another item that I thought was going to be much smaller than anticipated, like the size of a small kid's plate. And I was pleasantly surprised because I have one wall that this will fit perfectly on in our front room, and it is this hanging tray with a pumpkin on it. How beautiful is this? It is definitely a statement piece. Actually, you know what? I take that back. When you enter our house, there is a wall right above our entryway that this would fit to for fall. That's kind of a neat idea. I like that. I don't have anything there right now because we're currently working on that wall. So a little DIY spoiler for you. But I love how it's galvanized, really highly distressed and beautiful, just like that acorn candlestick set. Really, really beautiful piece. Next up, we have a six piece amber bottles set. I love these because it's such a great way to decorate for fall without overwhelming your eye. And you can pick and choose the pieces that you really want to be statements. And so here are these six bottles right here. Each of them have a unique shape. See that? And unique height and size. And it's just such a beautiful, simple way to decorate, which I really, really appreciate and really love. Something super random, something just super random, I guess, very random. It was our family loves shadow boxes. We will take little like vintage toys, scrapbook. My mom did this for my kids and created these shadow box, beautiful frame pieces of art with uh, Spider-Man characters, Star Wars characters, Barbies for my girl, other ones for my boy. And this is not a shadow box. In fact, this is called, let me look on my order form. It is called a, tu -tu 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 -tu, a collector's display box. So pretty similar and they're knocked down. But <clears throat> this is not the way you probably anticipated me styling this with and it was not my thought either. Um, but this is such a cool way to display items in your home. Really, really cool way. You guys saw that my other little glass box this was probably like seven, eight months ago. We put all of our Polaroid family photos in. That's such a creative idea. This one being a little bit too big, unless we were getting creative. This would be so cute for a wedding. We just got back from our cousin's wedding and this kind of reminds me of the look of that. In fact, I'm gonna play some, some footage of what I got from the up room that had so many pieces that kind of reminded me of Cotton and Crete. So, I'll show you guys that. There's so many ideas that you could come up with with this display box. In fact, when we were, we were in um, Santa Cruz and we were at a beach about 20 minutes away from Santa Cruz where I don't know the full story. So if you guys are from there, you're like, oh, she's totally butchering this story. But there was a boat that was near where the dock was and it was looked like it was crashed and um, I don't know, like telling a story with, you know, seashells or something and pictures would be cute, like a little memory box like that. I just think it'd be cute. But let me know in the comments down below an idea you have, and then we can kind of have a comment section full of creative fun ideas that other people can use and get inspired by too. You guys, here is a good one. I've got it upside down too. Okay. 
this reminds me a lot of my ice sign back here, kind of like my old times themed cigar sign back there. This one says our family farm, pumpkins and gourds, harvest time with a little pumpkin. And this one is really, really thin, more distressed probably than any of my signs in here. And this one is going outside, you guys. I'm doing a fall area in our backyard. I feel like I'm gonna have more outdoor fall decorating than probably inside this year, especially since our whole living room and dining room area this weekend is going to be completely emptied, completely emptied for a project to come. So we will be decorating outside. Here we have beautifully distressed. I would call it, probably not distressed actually, I'd probably call it weathered. And let me see what this is called again. This is called, <laughs> oh it is, yeah, it is weathered. It is called the weathered style wooden coat rack. Yes really cute how they styled it here. It's got some whites, grays, and I feel like, I feel like it just looks so old. It does not look new. It matches very, very much to the one, um, it is a shelf that's in our laundry room. This is gonna go right behind me in our hallway to do exactly what its purpose is and to hold coats because our coats end up on the ground. We have these really cute hooks in our laundry room that say one, two, three, four, five, six, and we use those and they get used. And so we're gonna add a little bit more. I think that this is such a cute way to display it too. And I kind of went back and forth if I should put this in our master bathroom because we don't have any hooks in there anymore. Our cute little hook ripped off the wall somehow. So we still need to repair that two years later. So. Anyways, just being honest there. <laughs> but we thought about putting this in here and I might end up doing that, but for towels, not coats. What do you guys think? Let me know your vote. Now, the next thing I'm gonna share is something I have had my eye on for a long time and it just seems oh, surreal to get. I'm really excited. If we don't put the coat rack where I just showed you guys, this will go there. It is this horse print set of two, not just one. It comes with two and it is just beautiful. It has almost a look of a shadow box, but it's not. I love the vintage look to it. So, so beautiful. I love this. Let me show you guys the second one. While I'm moving guys, here, here is, the second one, same exact size. Different direction to the horse, a little bit different in coloring. This one has a little bit more green. The other one had more of like a reddish pinkish tint to it. And I'm gonna put one on top of the other. So, so cute. I feel like I've seen these in magazines. And it's funny because technically like the people in magazines now are the ladies on Instagram. And so, that's probably where I've seen it. Maybe it's Instagram. I don't know, I have no idea, but absolutely beautiful and I love it. I love the shadow box look, so pretty. Metal to the side, a little bit distressed. So stunning. Okay friends, that is everything in today's video. Make sure that you guys check out Cotton and Crete in the description box down below and check out our other videos that we have done sharing their beautiful shop and decor. And make sure you guys go check out Charlie's video. It will be linked down below and go tell her that I sent you over. I hope you guys all have a beautiful day and I will see you guys later on Living It Country. Bye. <music>